What's up, people? Hang tight, let me get all the computer stuff out of the way. And I'll explain exactly what I'm doing. What's up, Facebook? Hang tight. Oh my goodness, Taylor just tried to steal second and got thrown out. But I guess that's what we want him doing, so that's okay. Um, okay. I'm officially live on Twitter, live on Twitch, live on Facebook, and live on YouTube. And I am doing an alternative broadcast of the Lakers-Dodgers game. Um... It's it, it because of Spectrum. Spectrum doesn't give the game half. To, doesn't give the game to half the city. So I'm just watching with no sound. I'm watching Spectrum. Uh, WW. I'm watching the website, and I'm just gonna tell you exactly what's going on. Think about it like radio. If you can't get to a TV, and you know what? If 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 you're new here, you know I have an open mind. Think about it like radio, and I am also kind of new to baseball. So cut me some slack on that as well. Well, not new to baseball. I'm new to doing a play-by-play -play of baseball which which is not it's not easy anyway who wow look at this picture for arizona number 99 walker and he is super jacked up to bat for the dodgers is seager the shortstop and there's one out because chris taylor tried to steal second here's the one two pitch and the spectrum website just froze up and something happened and he's out. Thank you so much, Spectrum website. And now let's watch the replay. Yep, that's a grounder to the first baseman right down the line. And the first baseman got it and then threw it over to Walker who came over from the, the pitching mound. So he's out at first. And just like that, we got a, a quick two outs. And I, you know what? I'm just happy that the opposing team didn't score in the first inning. I mean, I don't want to be talking about the Dodgers were 4 and 8. It hasn't been a good look. And the internet is just not going fast. Who's this guy, Walker? Like, this is what I want my baseball players to look like. Walker, he's big, he's strong, he obviously goes to the gym. You know what? Maybe he's taking some supplements. Sick and tired of these skinny guys playing baseball. And Grindal is up right now. And I refreshed the video. Because the Spectrum website is slow, and if it comes down to it, Spectrum, I'll go to a shady website. Strike two. And 0-2 uh, real quick to Grindal, who's like our best hitter right now. He's, he's, he's hitting great. Being down 0-2 for him right now isn't that bad. But Walker, wow, that was 94 miles an hour. You'd think he could throw a little harder, but he looks huge. If anybody's here, I, I, it usually takes a little while for people to come. And now they're showing us something. I don't know what, why they're showing us this. And the internet is frozen. Oh, they're showing a home run that, that Grindall hit off of him maybe earlier in the season. Or maybe last year in the playoffs. But, I'm, you know, I don't like looking at the playoff video from last year. Because we ended up losing the World Series. So it, it's a little bit bittersweet. A little bit bittersweet. Anyway, look at Arizona. Oh, man, Arizona is 10 and 3. That, that, that's no good. That's, the, that's what we should be. 4 and 8. Well, once we, once we get Turner, it's going to be way easier. All right, here we go. It's 0 and 2. And Grindall's batting 351 with two home runs and five RBIs. And, man, he is just a tough out. And it is just going so slow. And Chase Utley, you know what? He looks pretty good without a hat on. He's got the Silver Fox Anderson Cooper thing going. And you know what, Spectrum? I'm going to the Shady website. I bet you it's going to be faster. Here we go. Oh, and this is the shady website where I can make the screen bigger as well. All right, Spectrum, you're going to lose to a shady website right now. And watching the game. Yep, you're, you lost. I'm still stuck on Utley's face. 
Oh man, somebody's on base. Somehow Grindal got on base. I told you you don't have to worry about 0-2. And now here's Cody Bellinger. And you know what? We want him to hit more home runs. But he's batting 304, two home runs, four RBIs this year. And you know what? He, he could be hitting better. Here's the pitch. Strike two. That was directly over the plate. No movement whatsoever. Walker just gave him a meatball. And Bellinger just missed it. Uh, Grindal's at first. And just good to see. Oh, Goldschmidt. I remember this guy. Oh, man. Arizona was the team that we went to 15 and a half. Why am I doing the same teams over and over and over again? Here's the 0-2 pitch. Ball one. Way outside. And Walker wasn't going to give him anything to hit on the 0-2 pitch. 92 miles an hour. You'd think his fastball would be a little bit faster considering how huge he is. And it's funny, I've been doing these baseball games, and preseason was more fun, and we were playing more teams. Here's just nothing but Giants and the, and the Arizona. Like, all the games I've done. Here's the 1-2 pitch, over the plate, strike three. Big swing and a miss from Cody Bellinger, but that's exactly what we want him doing. We want him either striking out or hitting home runs. That's it. No more of this middle stuff. No more hits. And we're off to commercial break. I doubt anybody's here. Is anybody here? Let's go. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Facebook? Is anybody Facebook and Dodgers? It's weird. It, it, it takes longer for people to come. But yeah, people are here. So you know what? Thanks for coming. Make sure you leave a comment. Let's get the conversation going. You want to talk about Dodgers? We can talk about Dodgers. You want to talk about Lakers? We can talk about Lakers. And even we can talk about UFC if you want to talk about UFC. And I made a video about UFC. Nobody liked it. Nobody liked it. So make sure you check that out. Because I'm like, I, I, I just did it. And I posted it. And just right off the bat, I was getting flack from everybody. Talking about Conor McGregor. And then until I rewatched it, I'm like, what is so offensive about this? And you know what? I stand by everything I said. I stand by everything I said. And I can't ever tell if people are here on Twitter or Twitch. So yeah, we're playing the Diamondbacks again. And what's going on up here? Change that. There we go. Still on commercial break. And I, I'm still kind of getting used to doing play-by-play -play baseball. Like, there's a lot more bullshitting, and I don't need to talk so fast. So just kind of keep your attention as, I don't know, I'm just going to have to do it. But yeah, if you're a regular, I missed the last Lakers game. After doing all the Lakers games, except for a few. You know, I missed them early in the season, but I, I missed the last one. I didn't even know it was, it was on. I mean, when they do two games in a row in basketball, it threw me off. I missed every single second game when they did two in a row. And uh, what's going on here? They're showing us Rich Hill, um, ERA this season in wins, .24 with three shutouts, and then his losses. Oh, no, this is the Dodgers. Okay, so basically our starting pitching is not looking great. Um, we got three shutouts, though. And I think we're looking at Maeda right now. Don't know what's going on with Maeda, but they're showing him. And did he get blown up yesterday or something? Here we go. Hill is at the mound. Lefty, old guy. You know, not too exciting. Fastball, down the middle, strike one. No movement on that one. 89 miles an hour. And here's Chris Onings, who steps out of the box. He's batting 310. Pretty big guy. You know, he, he definitely goes to the gym. Here's the pitch. Right over the plate. Slider, strike two. And Onings didn't even attempt to swing. He was kind of fooled by that one. I think he thought it was going to be low. And Rich Hill, you know, he's a good hitter, or a good pitcher when he's hitting his spots. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Way outside. Fastball, only 88 miles an hour. And it looks like he's already laboring out there. He's breathing, breathing hard. You know, looking like you're in an old person's home. Like, we're just watching the people trying to get out of a chair. And he, he's breathing hard. Here's the one-two pitch. Curveball over the plate. Swung on. Ball, or foul ball. And that one kind of fouled behind him. But, man, when, when Rich Hill, it's just one out of every ten curveballs. It, it's just a home run. You, a, a toddler could get a home run. 
It's just, they're just hanging. You just got to swing. Like level, like right at your, you don't even have to think about it. Here's the one-two pitch. Curveball over the plate, swung on, and that's a chopper to the third baseman. And they throw it over and get him at first. So one out right off the bat. And Hill looked pretty good there, but two curveballs in a row. I mean, maybe that was a little bit too obvious. And now we're, we're talking about Nick Ahmed. Career, you know what? I'm already sick of this guy. He's, he's batting so great against the Dodgers because they went 15 and a half innings in one game. I'm, I'm sick of this guy. Don't like him. And you should see him digging in. What a jackass. Four career, four home run career at Dodger Stadium. He's batting 286 this, se- this, this season. Two home runs. Those are probably against the Dodgers. Here's the pitch. Curveball, barely over the plate. Strike one. And that was a perfect pitch because it started way outside and just curved right over the plate. But Spectrum, we're watching this on Spectrum, so we're not going to get the, the damn computer so we can't see if their balls are strikes. Here's the pitch. Fastball. Ball one. So it's one and one. And where did this guy Nick Ahmed come from? It seems like I'm only doing Giants in Arizona games so far. And I just keep seeing the same people over and over again, and they're all new people. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Strike two. And that was over the plate again. That was the exact same pitch as the first one. That's unhittable. I mean, you would have to, like, be clairvoyant and know it's coming for it to be hit. Here's the one-two pitch. Fastball right down the middle. Strike three. Ahmed went down looking, and Rich Hill just... Rich Hill, that, you know, he might be, he might be at the old person's home, but when he gets... Oh, here's the, here's the computer. And that was just a little bit outside. Four-seam fastball. That was beautiful. No movement, though. And, you know, maybe he's getting older, but... He, he just out, he just out, he's smarter than Ahmed. There's no doubt about that. And that's two outs right off the bat. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Who's this guy? Lefty, going up against Hill, who's a lefty. And he steps in, oh, here, this guy, George Costanza. He, his name's Alex Avila. And he's not bad for shit, he's two for 21 this season. But he reminds me of George Costanza. Fastball, outside corner, strike one. And although this guy did get a hit in the 15 and a half inning game, but it was the only thing he did. One of those two hits was in the 15 and a half inning game. And it, he looks like George Costanza. If he was a baseball player, here's the 0-1 pitch. Curveball. Ball. And I don't know how that was a ball, but those other ones were strikes. But I guess that one was a ball. I think the umpire made an error. And Rich Hill, you know, he just never looks comfortable up there. He's always grabbing himself. He's breathing hard, you know, needs to hit the gym. Here's the one-one pitch, curveball, ball two. And how is that one not a strike? How are you supposed to call balls and strikes with Rich Hill? Because these curveballs are pretty dirty. And but those other ones were against Ahmed. Here's the two-one pitch, curveball, strike two. And that one was definitely a strike. And, but these aren't like falling off table curveballs. These are like kind of dirty, fast curveballs. You know what, Rich Hill, early in the game, his curveball's pretty dirty. But that thing starts hanging, though. And these things, yeah, it starts hanging. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Fastball down the middle, swung on. That's hit hard, but not hard enough. And Jock Peterson in left field makes the out. So 1-2-3 for Rich Hill. And George Costanza, you know, definitely got a piece of Rich Hill there. That wasn't a good look, but luckily, Jock Peterson is in the outfield. And we are going to the bottom of the second. And let's hope the Dodgers can get some offense going. I mean, is Walker even really that good? On commercial break. Yeah, I can't ever tell if Facebook, Facebook is weird. No, I just don't think there are that many people here yet. But it does take a little bit of time. No, nobody's ever in a rush to get to the baseball game. On commercial break, what am I going to talk about? Oh, we got Yasiel Pui coming up next. That is super good news. And is this thing on? Oh, yep, it's on.
you know, some kind of a, a siren is going on outside. And, you know, I am from Los Angeles, but, you know, it's one of the, like, more modern, nicer areas. I'm not in the ghetto, but it does sound like, it sounds like a war zone out there right now. It just so happens I live close to the 101 freeway. So no matter what I do, I'm, it's always going to be crap as long as I'm, I'm doing videos from here. Like, we're talking, like, that's, that's not even, like, a, a, a one golf hole away to the freeway. That's, like, that's, like, it's, like, a lob wedge. Maybe not, like, a pitching wedge. Maybe like a hundred and fifty yards, oh, seven iron, more like a seven iron, an eight iron. It's I'm an eight. Let, let's take a look. I don't know how. What would I hit to get you? Now that's definitely a pitching wedge, if not a gap wedge. It's close. And now we got a shot of Dodger Stadium on Saturday, and not you know a lot of empty seats. Um, MLB TV, watch every out-of-market regular season game. Is this an out-of-market regular season game? Because I think you guys can watch this on TV, on the internet right now. Uh, here's Yasiel Puy, bo uh, born in Cuba. Super badass. Definitely my favorite player on the team. And he's, uh... He, this is his sixth se season, but he's only starting to get good. He's been cold so far this year, but he's swinging great. And just, just running bad. And he takes strike one. And he always takes strike one. He always takes the first pitch. He is a very disciplined batter. And it's the opposite of his personality. And I think that works out for him. And a walker, man, he just looks so big. But he doesn't even throw that hard. Here's the pitch. Ball one. And that was 90 miles an hour. Just a little bit outside. And you know what? I wonder who walker versus versus... Jansen would be a pretty good fight and just in terms of bigness if anything Walker might be a little bit more lean But you know y'all still please the biggest badass out of, out of everybody and he, He's just so jacked those arms those arms are awesome. Yeah, you know, without a doubt. Please got the best arms on the team Here's the 2-1 pitch Ball three so it's three and one, and just like that, Yasiel Pui is just able to get back ahead in the count, and Walker's definitely looking, he's definitely trying to get focused here. He's trying to, he's trying to get focused. Gets the sign, that's a pinky to the right side. Here's the pitch. That's hit hard. Gonna be a base hit. Pui's going to second, gonna be close, and he's safe. Goodness gracious, Yasiel Pui, he, he got three and one. He knew it was going to be kind of a meatball. He turned on that thing, hit it so hard down to the left field. And if he just got a little bit under it, that would still be going. Home run. But what a beautiful swing. And that's just the way that he's been swinging all season. It just in other situations, the left fielder would have just been standing right where it went. He, like, he's been getting unlucky. He's got robbed on that one home run. And he got jumped, caught the ball over the gate. And then he almost dropped it. And then, and then he caught it. So Yasiel Pui getting screwed, finally doing something awesome. And we got a runner on second with no outs. And it's Yasiel Pui, who is a very aggressive base runner. And this is how the Dodgers score runs. Now we got Jock Peterson. He's batting 143. You know what? He, he's better than his numbers say. Pui, troll the pitcher a little bit. Here's the pitch. Ball one. And you can already tell, you can already tell the, the change in demeanor in the pitcher, Walker, um, since Yasiel Pui's on base. And well, Yas Yasiel Pui isn't even doing his crazy behavior, trolling, trying to get annoy him. But, but Walker still is not looking happy. Here's the 1-0 pitch to Peterson, all two. And that would be so awesome if the, if the response from Walker would be a walk of a guy batting 143. This guy, Jock Peterson, what is he, Canadian? Nobody knows. Where does he come from? Probably Canada. Jock Peterson, he sounds Canadian. And here's, oh, we got a tight shot on Chase Utley, and he does look better without his hat. And uh-oh, Luvalo, Luvalo's coming out to the mound, and here's the umpire coming out to the mound. Why is everybody talking? We got a meeting at the mound. This has got to count for something, but the umpire is in there, which is weird. Now we're taking a look, at, a look at a guy that looks like a dirt bike rider and not a baseball player. 
now we're cutting back to the conversation at the mound and yeah, we got two dirt bike riders here in the dugout for arizona one of them got blonde hair they, they both look like dirt bike riders and they're something makes me think, think that they they own dirt, dirt bikes and there's some kind of a of a meeting going down at the mound right now the ump the umpire home plate umpire is in on the conversation all the other players all the infield just standing around not even paying attention but it's the umpire and, and is there a poop on the, on in in the infield again is there a poop in the infield nope not poop in the infield but they're bringing out mcfarland and just like that walker yeah this was a bad situation walker did not look happy i think they're gonna take out walker right now which would be crazy and if they're not going to take out Walker, th th that was shots fired. He knows that he's going to be yanked here pretty soon. And I don't know what they're complaining about. I don't, I don't know what that was all about at all. Now they're showing us the replay. Oh, is the coach... You know, maybe we're going to need some time for this one. Well, I don't know. Something happened. There's a meeting at the mound. Umpire was involved. It's 2-0 to Jock Peterson, the Canadian. You know what? He looks, he looks like a Canadian standing in the box. Here's the pitch. Fastball over the middle. Huge swing. Strike one. And Jock Peterson, I mean, even Canadians know when to go for home runs. I mean, he's got to be Canadian. Or if he was actually French, that would be even better. But no, I've never heard of a French guy, French guy playing baseball. And now we got, they got us a, a close up on what, what looks like to be the video guy or the bad boy or somebody in the dugout. Definitely not an athlete, probably a video guy. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Ball three. So yeah, Walker is struggling after looking pretty decent in the first couple innings or first inning. And it's three and one. Close up on Walker. You know, he looks way more nervous nervous than he did at the beginning of the, of the inning. That is for sure. Pui on, ba on base. He doesn't like that. Here's the three one pitch. Strike two. And that was just barely on the corner. Spectrum shows the computer. That could have. Oh, are they going to show us the computer? Let's take a look. Oh, that was definitely a strike. Man, that was a great call from the umpire. I was about to start complaining. That was a great call from the umpire. Wow. I, I, I was definitely... The umpires are better than I am at calling balls and strikes, but they do mess up. And honestly, I think that the Dodgers... Pui complains too much about it, but I'm keeping track this year, and actually he's plus one on getting hooked up on balls and strikes. So you know what? He's not allowed to complain right now. He's plus one. I've been paying attention. I've missed some games. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Over the plate, swung on. That's a hard hit, and that's going to be a hit. Yasiel Puig's coming home. Jock Peterson just got an RBI. And wow, the second baseman for Arizona dove for it and didn't get it. And that's amazing because that is the opposite of what's been going on every single time the Dodgers play baseball is, is people are making great plays against us. And Jock Peterson hit it hard, but maybe it wasn't the greatest hit. But hit it hard enough, second baseman couldn't get it. And it just barely went off of his glove. And Dodgers go up one nothing. And Yasiel Pui, that's what that's what Walker was scared about, I think. And I don't know why I don't know why Walker was pitching around him at the beginning of the count and then decided to give him some meatballs towards the ending. I mean walk him, why not? I mean at least you can get a double play. And here's Logan Forsyth, or who I like to call Old Man Logan. Because he reminds me of Wolverine. Old Man Logan. You know what? Another guy like Jock Peterson, where the numbers don't actually speak for how good they are at baseball. I, I made fun of him last year. Forsyth, the whole year. Or no, only, only really the ending when I started doing this. And then in the playoffs, he was so good. Oh, he hits this one hard. Hits it hard, but that's going to be caught. And old man Logan hits it to the track, but but that's not but that's not so bad. Only one out, and at least he gave it a try. And that's definitely something like like responsible. I, I think of old man Logan like responsible Wolverine. And here's here we go. 
and we got, we got Chase Utley. He looks way older in his helmet and his hat than he does without it on, which is odd because he's got gray hair. But he looks way better without the, with the, without the helmet on. If anybody should be going up there with no helmet, it's Chase Utley. He's batting 292 this season. One home run, five RBIs. Pinch hit two runs single last night. Okay, well, Chase Utley's having a pretty good season. And I, I told myself that I wasn't going to actually broadcast his, his at-bats. But he was a really tough out. And I was a little bit harsh on Chase Utley. So I, I apologize to Chase Utley. You know what? It's just weird you're on our team. And I think we should check your phone. And if you got Victorino's number in there, then you know what? We should kick you off the team. Uh, then I won't do your, your, your thing. But if you don't have Victorino, Victorino's number in your phone, then we're good. I, I don't like that guy. Here's the strike one. And Walker just threw a crazy curveball over the, over the outside corner. And it, it made the old man, it's hard to make him look too foolish. And yeah, he, it, that was super weird what he did. He like started walking towards, it's almost like he was trying to get hit by the pitch. That's what he was trying to do, actually. He was trying to get hit by the pitch, and it just hit the outside corner. And that was amazing. I've never seen somebody do that before. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And the umpire called time right beforehand. So it's still going to be 0-1. And I think that's a good thing for Chase Utley, because now he knows what pitch he was going to throw. And that one would have been a sweet fastball right down the middle. And I, I think Chase Utley would have been swinging. So the umpire screwed us on that one. Chase Utley, you know, he looks kind of cool when he's in the box, and I hate to say it. He kind of leans back, kind of like Turner does. And Walker throws back to first. Peterson is taking a big lead. And you know what? Is, is Peterson Canadian? If you know if Peterson's Canadian, let, let me know. And now they're showing us a replay of Walker throwing to first. And, you know, Bellinger is always paying attention. That is for sure. Yeah, I can't tell if anybody's here on Facebook. Yeah. Anyway, it's one and one I can't believe he's batting 292. You know what? That just looks pretty good right now. He must feel cool. But we'll take it. For 2 million bucks, here's the pitch. Check swing foul. And that was... I don't know what kind of pitches this guy Walker throws. But they're, they're not impressive. They're not moving much. Not not huge amount of gas. No, no velocity. No velocity. And Chase Utley's thinking, yeah. I mean, I was around when Nolan Ryan was pitching. And that's velocity. Was Chase Utley in the league when Nolan Ryan was pitching? I don't know. Probably. And now we got, we got a, a close-up of Rich Hill. And, you know, he just looks, looks a bit like a mama's boy. That is hit hard. And going to be a base hit. Chase Utley getting another base hit. And now Jock Peterson's at second. Chase Utley is, is, is at first. And Walker, he keeps on throwing up these, these fastballs over the plate, but they're not moving. Oh, no, that was, I don't know what that was, but Chase Utley just said, get that weak stuff out of here and just hit a, hit a great shot to center field. And the only problem with this right now, with, with one out, it's a great situation, and Walker is struggling, is Utley is a little bit slow. And I'd rather have that, I'd rather have two fast guys up right. Oh, let's hope Rich Hill doesn't hit into a double play. How about Rich Hill, you just strike out. Purposely strike out. I mean, he looks like a mama's boy. Let, let's pinch hit him. Let, let's bring in, bring in the bullpen. Bring in the bullpen. Oh, shows bunt. Oh, and he gets down a bunt. And they get him at third. So Jock Peterson is out at third. And you know what? That was a good try. Rich Hill, he, he, he definitely, he, he dropped an F-bomb. Dropped an F-bomb. And uh, it wasn't happy, but, you know, just great, actually great bunting experience. Like, you should have seen it. He looked like he's been bunting his whole life. And, yeah, they got him at third. Maybe it just wasn't a good enough bunt. Why didn't he go down the first base line? I don't know. But just like that, there's two outs. But here's Taylor, who is getting on base and getting home runs. And he's batting 226 this season. Had a walk in the first, but he's a tough out, and he's got two home runs and five RBIs. 
Um, I, I think the, the coach just told him, just swing like Bellinger for a month. Let's see what happens. Because he's not batting, he's not batting like regular Taylor. Here's, here's the pitch. Swung on. That's a chopper down the line, but foul. And wow, Taylor is going for home runs. This is, this is, Taylor most of the time is trying to get the pitcher to throw him 20 pitches. It's weird. That's how the way he bats. It's, it's like my goal right now in the box is to get this guy to throw me 20 pitches. That's how he does it. These days, since the beginning of the season, and even preseason a little bit, he's been swinging, swinging like Bellinger. It's almost like they said, well, hey, while well, well, Turner's gone, just swing. Who cares? It's weird. But I, maybe I like it. I don't know. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And all of a sudden, that's just the 39th huge swing, strike two. And Taylor went down to a knee. That's how hard he was swinging. I, I have not seen, I did not see him do that. Uh-oh. Weird, weird play earlier in the game when he got thrown out at second. Maybe he hurt his knee a little bit, but I have not seen him fall on a swing ever. And he's doing it right. He's swinging for home runs. That's what's going on. And I think, I think that the coach told him to do that because there's no other explanation for him to be doing that. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Ball one. And yeah, down 0-2 is exactly where Taylor usually likes it. But this season, not so much. And we got an advertisement for it to Takagi directly behind. That, that's just a good advertisement right there because it's directly in line with their face. Whatever Takagi is, that is, the, that is the best advertisement like the, in the whole entire building. Strike three. Taylor goes down looking. He's complaining to the referee. And let's take a look at the computer spectrum. Let's take a look. Oh, and now we're showing a wiener dog. We're showing a wiener dog that says, let's, let's go Dodgers. And you know what? Maybe a little, he actually looks like a little angry little guy and doesn't like the camera near him. But yeah, funny wiener dog. And we're on commercial break. Thanks for coming, everybody. This is the Dodgers game. And so far, so good. Um, we got to run there, but it could have been way, way more. And it all started with just Pui getting a double and it kind of shook the picture a little bit. So yeah, we're on commercial break. Thanks for coming. And up to bat, we got Mar we got Mareo. So yeah, so far so good for the Dodgers. And you know, there's a lot of games to go. A lot of games to go. And I think most of the time, I think more people come to Dodger games at the ending of the games than at the beginning, kind of like in basketball. So I think if I'm gonna be doing this, I should be doing the ending of the games and not the start of the games. Because honestly, Rich Hill, no one's not exciting. No one's coming. We should have got that guy Otani. And every single time I see Otani, I think, why did we not get him? Still on commercial break. Yeah, so anyway, watch the MMA. Oh, 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 pop up to you one. You're an awesome commenter. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, you know what? I'm just doing it. I, I don't know what I'm doing, but thanks for saying that. Uh, I'm better at basketball. Basketball, I can, I, basketball when I'm doing it, it feels like sometimes I get in the zone. I'm like, okay, well, this is what radio people feel like when they're doing it. I have not gotten there with baseball, but thanks for the encouragement. I'll keep it up. And yeah, you should see the MMA video I made with, about Conor McGregor. It, you guys did not like that one. The internet, not a big fan. Anyway, th thanks for the compliment. We are back, and now we got Road Dogs and Rescue.org rescue.org and we got loads of dogs in at Dodger Stadium and we got some cute ones we got like a we got like a bulldog of some kind we got we got an ugly one over here to the left we got we got a bunch of bulldogs and you know what bulldogs they're cute in their own way a face only a mother would love 
uh, is how we, people would say it. And honestly, now that those, no wonder that wiener dog was pissed. You know, anytime you meet a wiener dog at a rescue place, they're always mean. But wiener dogs are just mean, mean dogs in general. And they're dicks. The only way to describe it. And I've had two of them. Huge pitch from Rich Hill curveball. Ball one. And that is, this is when, when Rich Hill starts throwing those ones, I, I, I tend to get a little bit more worried. Like that was a swooping huge curveball that n no one would ever swing at it. Here's the pitch. Curveball over the plate. Strike two. Anyway, see, there's my dog right now, Ludwig, the miniature schnauzer, and they're having a dog day at Dodger Stadium. Loads of rescue dogs, and he would fit right in. I don't think we could take him either. I think we'd have to get him in on the rescue club and then bring him with us and then hope nobody gets him. Or we call the number and can we get that dog? Anyway, here's the pitch. I'm saying he would, he would have fun. And they, they should let dogs in Dodger Stadium more often. Were you guys gone a long time or is that just me? It was just a regular walk? Oh, yeah. Our dog is drugged up right now because we took him to go get a haircut. And, uh, yeah. You know, he's, he's, you know what, he's, uh, he's tenacious with the vet and the hair cutters. And you just put him on the drugs and he's, you know, he's just 10% of his normal self, but he's still like, and going for it, but just 10%. So, you know, they're, they're down to give him a haircut. Anyway, I gotta get back to the Dodgers. Oh, I got, I got, just got a subscriber. Thanks for the subscribe. Don't know who that is, but I just saw it pop up. And yeah, Dodgers game, baby. You know, she's cool with me doing this. Anyway. One nothing. Oh, does Grindall have tattoos? You know, that makes me like him a little bit more. Here's the pitch. Curveball over the plate, swung on, fouled away. Oh, you know, it says that's pop two you one. Pop two you one. Thanks for the subscription. You know what? Give me two tries. You can't get to a TV. Think about it like radio. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to start doing the ending of the games because they're so long. Ending of the games, maybe sixth inning on. Because people come. Like in Lakers, nobody came at the beginning. Here's the pitch. Over the plate, swung on, hit hard, but foul ball. And Moreo is up right now. He's batting 188. No home runs, two RBIs, not having the greatest season. And I am so sick and tired of these Arizona... Diamondbacks and the Giants and what I noticed is that it's weird it, like if I do a live video when I'm doing this sometimes people go to my old videos like that's like Arizona versus Dodgers and they click on that and then I'm not doing that one live so I got to change those titles I think so I'm like what the hell I've got all these Dodgers videos but they all got the, all got the same titles and, and that's not how you're supposed to do YouTube here's the pitch 3-2 swung on hit hard and that Jock Peterson, not Jock Peterson, Forsythe, makes the catch at third base. One out. Pretty good at bat from Moreo. I'll have to say that. But he just hit a line drive directly to old man Logan at third base, who is so solid with the glove. He might even be more solid with the glove than Turner. I don't know. And who's this guy? He needs a shave. And none of these guys, these guys need to get haircuts. None of them shave. None of them get haircuts. Christian Walker. He's batting 171, three home runs, three RBIs. And this is his fourth season in the league. And you should see his, he's got a beard, but his, he's, his, he's got a, it's longer around the chin. And, you know, he's a little guy. You know what? I don't like these little guys in baseball. Here's the pitch. Over the plate, swung on, foul back. And that was 89 miles an hour. Must have been the four-seam fastball from hill i always thought that the four seam fastballs are supposed to be moving kind of like that's what kershaw and jansen does this these ones are not moving it's just 89 miles an hour directly over the plate here's but in good spots here's the pitch that was a slider that was a different pitch it's 0 and 2 and wow hill's got a slider a curveball and a fastball you don't see that very often. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Fastball over the plate, strike three. Okay, Hill knows what he's doing. I think he might be a thinking man's pitcher. 
there's no athlete he's not raw power he's got no arms he's not strong he looks like a mama's boy um with a minivan in the garage but he can outthink you he you should have seen that he out he, he outthunk the broadcaster on that one i did not see the slider uh, wow great pitching and now that was a, a slider to first strike for ball one new batter we got a new batter. We got C. Walker. Oh, no. We got Peralta. And he's a lefty. And you know what? At least he hits the gym. And got a tattoo on his right arm. And he looks... He does look badass. This guy hits the gym. He's 0 for 1 on the night. He's batting 326 this season. And this guy's pretty good. And he's definitely having a good season so far. And it's 2-0. And if anybody can take virtual deep right now, it's this guy. But luckily, he, they're both lefties. Ball three. So it's 3 0. Oh, and that was a curveball. Like, it started at Peralta's face. And he did not budge an, an inch. He knew that was curving. And he knew that it wasn't going to be a strike. So I don't think that's the best look in the world. And you know what? Don't give him a me ball. Here's the pitch. Ball four. So yeah, Rich Hill wanted no piece of Peralta whatsoever and gave him four straight balls. And Peralta, I've never seen somebody get a ball thrown at their face and then not move. Like on the first one, like it happens in baseball all the time, but on the first one, they always flinch. Not Peralta. And here's Marte. And I am so sick of all these guys. He's 0 for 1 on the night. Batting 273 with no home runs, five RBIs, and definitely Hill wanted Marte. Here's the pitch, curveball, ball one. And yeah, what Rich Hill does is he, he the slider kind of comes out looking like the fastball. So if he just puts that thing outside, the batter thinks that's outside, that's a fastball, and then it just kind of curves right on the corner. Fastball down the middle, strike one, and it's one and one. Wow, Marte, he's not the biggest guy in the world, so that looked low, but based on his height, definitely, definitely a strike. And pitches by inning, 14, 14, 20 for 48 total. And Rich Hill, this is textbook. This is what everyone on the Dodgers is supposed to be doing. Swung on, hit pretty hard, but fouled away. And it's a one and two. It's funny, it, it, I don't know why Rich Hill didn't just int intentionally walk Peralta, the last guy, if he was going to... Anyway, he wanted this guy Marte. I mean, if you're going to do it, just walk him. Why even risk it? But either way, this guy got a bat on the ball, and that's got to make Rich Hill at least look up a little bit. And Rich Hill throws over to first. And Bellinger, always awake. And you would think that he could be sleeping. And we got... It's dinner time for the... Schnauzer, Ludwig. He's a loud eater. Let's listen. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That is going to be hit hard to the gap. And that's going to land. That's going to be a base hit. Multiple bases. Multi the guy, the guy, is, I think might be coming home. Nope, he stopped. Nope, he came home. Was that a double? Man, y'all so pui. That was not your fault. He got, he got to that. That was a perfectly hit ball. And wow, Marte finally just kind of hung. That was not a hanging curveball. But that was, that was very close to being a home run. And just like that, it is tied 1-1. And the guy at first base, Peralta, must be fast. Oh, and Utley's, Utley, Utley confused him. You should have seen what Utley did. That was a veteran move when he, he said 1-1-1. One, one, one. Like, it's only like a small hit. Oh my god, Utley almost saved us a run there. Luckily, Peralta, he must be fast. Because he didn't even get the best jump. Utley trolled him. He slowed down, and then he said, okay, I'm going to go. Wow. That was just a great run by the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'll give him that. But Utley did what he could. That was a veteran move. A little bit trickster up his sleeve. And that's plus one cool point for Utley, even though it didn't work. Oh, and here's Goldschmidt. 
He's one for one on the night band, 208 on the season, so not too impressive, but I don't like him. Goldschmidt. Who, who are you kidding, buddy? Here's the pitch. That is swung on and foul back. Goodness gracious. And I, I can already tell that I'm getting a little bit excited here, and I'm going too fast. Goldschmidt. You should have seen, seen how hard he just swung at that thing, and they are starting to light up looking at these Rich Hill pitches. Holy, 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 wow. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Curveball. Strike two on the outside corner. Yeah, and those are consistently 74 miles an hour. The slider is 85, and the four-seam fastball is 90 or 91 or 89. And those are the only thing, that's the only thing that Rich Hill knows how to do. Here's the one-two pitch. He's looking like a skinny dad with a minivan. And that's ball two. The, the, the worse situation he gets into, the more he looks like a dad with a minivan in the garage. I mean, he does not look like a professional athlete. No way. If you saw him in an elevator, you'd be like, dude, I dare this guy to try something. Oh my goodness, that's hit so hard. That is hit so hard. Please be foul. Please be, that's a home run. Goldschmidt, you should have, that he was going for a home run. Goodness gracious, that had to be one of the hardest hit balls of the season. Rich Hill just got blown up by Marte, and then this guy, here's the replay, Goldschmidt, goodness gracious. That, what an athletic move, Goldschmidt. I knew, that, I knew that that wasn't a good look after the first swing, and now I'm getting all jacked up. Just like that, Lakers, Dodgers are down by two. Goldschmidt thinks he's cool, and now all of a sudden, that, that, come on, Hill, just get out of this inning. You had two outs. This is all with two outs, and this is what's been going on so far this whole season. And Goldschmidt's got to go, he's going bald. He's going bald. He's got a little bit of a bald spot. Yeah, I'm not going to hold it against him, but... But Rich Hill, I mean, he does look like a badass, but he is balding a little. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Curveball, that's a ball. And Rich Hill is completely not even paying attention anymore. Here's A.J. Pollock. Bent 271, one home run, nine RBIs, 0 for 1 on the night. But this is another one of those guys. I am so sick and tired of seeing these guys. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Right down the middle, strike one. And this is not, this right here going down 2-0 and and then throwing over that, that strike just now. I, AJ Pollock could literally hit out a home run right now. That's what I, I don't like about this situation. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Curveball, ball three. And Dave Roberts shaking his head. This is all with two outs. And I, I would not be surprised if this is a home run right now because you know it's going to be a 14 fastball right over the middle. Here's the pitch. Hit very hard. Hit very, very hard. That's going back to the track, and Pui makes the catch. Pui makes the catch, and finally we get out of the inning. Holy goodness. And you know what? They're showing us the cute dogs, but I'm not, I don't wanna, I'm not into the cute dogs anymore. Dodgers, what the hell? Going to commercial break. And this is, happens every time, and they're taking out Walker. And you know what? You know, the, the Dodgers can come back. We can hit. But what is going on with our pitching? Thanks for coming, everybody. People are here. Are people here on Facebook? You know what? Let's, let's take a look. It might be frozen. You know what? I can't ever tell if people are here on Facebook. It takes so long to load. Thanks for coming, everybody. Awesome Saturday afternoon. Honestly, me and the girlfriend should have gone to the game. And you know what? Hey, babe. Would you want to go to a Dodger game? We should have gone. It is beautiful out there. And instead, I'm doing this. I blame Spectrum. Um, if you're here right now and you can't watch the game because of Spectrum, let me know. Or if you're just stopping by or it's your first time, you know, just say hi. But we're still on commercial break, and they are bringing in McFarland. And that is good news if you're a Dodgers fan, because that means that they're going to their bullpen rather early. And is it still the third? Is it still just the top of the third inning? 
Um, it is, oh, the bottom of the third. I think it's going to be the top of the fourth. But yeah, going to their, going to McFarland, going to the bullpen this early. Good news for the Dodgers. And do we keep Rich Hill in there? I mean, we just, we just had him at bat in a great situation. I guess we got to keep Rich Hill in there. Now we got a backstage with the Dodgers, and we got Gurley from the Rams, and he's, you know, hanging out on the field with the Dodgers. That is great. And I'm pretty excited about the Rams football team coming up. I mean, is it, I mean, is it summer camp yet? I think football might be starting soon. And here's TJ McFarlane. Three games, 7.7 .7 ERA in two innings. So with this guy, we got to light up. This guy, we got to light up. Goldschmidt thinks he's super cool. Why am I so jacked up already? Got to calm down. This is baseball. Seager, he's over one on the night. Not batting, amazing this season. Here's the pitch. Over the plate, swung on, foul back. Now he's batting 208. This oh, here's Rich Hill. He's just looking like, you know, looking like how old is he? What's going on with the Dodgers? With the Dodgers starting pitching? Why didn't we get Otani? Here's the pitch. Ball one, crazy 80 mile per hour slider. I think that was weird. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna call the ball. It looked like a strike to me. Here's the one one pitch. Ball two. Hey, babe. Would you want to? Would you want to? What? What? Would you want to do tonight? Did you? I think we should do something fun. I'm back. It's 3-1. and one. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That's a chopper to first. And once again, um, the first baseman, Goldschmidt, seems to be able to get those balls down the line. That's two times in a row. And they're able to make that kind of the exchange. The first baseman runs over to first. And a lot of times the pitchers are awkward when they run over, but McFarland able to get the job done. And there's one out. And here's it's gonna be Bellinger. Nope, not Bellinger. Grindall. Oh, Grindall. He bats both ways. Man, he's batting 378, two home runs, five RBIs. Grindall is the best hitting player on the team, and he goes both ways. He's batting righty this time. That's amazing. What a, what a skill. Here's the pitch. Ball one. That was, I think, one of those crazy 80 mile an hour pitches, and that was low. So that's two times in a row he missed with that same pitch. It was called the ball. And you know, maybe he's not going for a strike with that one. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Outside corner. Strike one. So it's 1 and 1. And the last at bat, Grindall had a single. And I saw that one. That was the first. Did I see that one? I don't know. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Swung on, and that's going to be a foul. And it's 1 and 2. And this is exactly where Grindall likes it. He's gone down 0 and 2 so much this season, he, he just keeps on batting. He just keeps on hitting. But I've never seen, I haven't seen him hit a home run from righty yet. Only from lefty. He's just jacking him out. From righty, I haven't seen one yet. So let's see. Let's just hope he gets a home run. I just want a home run. Nothing, nothing less. Here's the one-two pitch. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And they throw him out at first. So two outs pretty quickly. And McFarland, though, doesn't seem to be very impressive at all. Got a little bit of gray in his beard. Not groomed. Looking old. Needs to get the gym. Got two outs. And Co Cody Bellinger is coming up right now. He is so much. He's probably my third favorite player on the team. He goes, Yasiel Pui, then Jesus, and then Cody Bellinger. And uh, he's, uh, you know, just get a home runner strikeout. 
No base hits. We don't want that. Here's the pitch. Ball one. And Cody Bellinger. Wow, that was a good eye right off the bat. You don't see him taking that one very often. Like the inside fastball on the first pitch. He swings every time with that. Not this time. And now it's 1-0. and And I like his, his position just that much more. The catcher sets up outside. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That's hit pretty hard to the outfield. And that is going to be a base hit to the corner. Um, landed at the track, close for a home run, not a home run. And Cody Bellinger gets a double here in the bottom of the third with two outs. And you know what? He got a double. That seems cool and all, but I mean, Yasiel Pui is up. That's what's the good news, but we'd much rather him just get a home run or strike out. I mean, double, we'll take it. We'll, we'll definitely take it. And just, that was just perfectly placed. And I think the center fielder and the left fielder, they're both running full speed at it. And maybe a little bit of confusion on who was supposed to catch it, but I don't think either of them could have gotten it. And yeah, you know what? None of these guys shave. They don't, they don't groom themselves. And Yasiel Pui steps in. He nailed, got a huge great hit in the second inning. Though he's only batting 213 this season, but that's just a kind of a, a hitting slump I've been watching. He's swinging great. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Yasiel Pui always takes ball one. And he steps out, takes his time. I like, I like him trolling a little bit. You know, I like trolling Yasiel Pui. I like the wild horse Yasiel Pui. I just don't like sad face Yasiel Pui. And right now we got d determined Yasiel Pui. And he's just looking, he's just making, he's just, he's acting a fool kind of. You should have seen what he did. You know what? I like that. That's a good look. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Called strike one. And there's no way. And Yasiel Pui, he's annoyed with the balls and strikes. He looked back immediately. And, uh, yeah, the umpire, let's take a look. That was a ball. That was a ball. Yasiel Pui knew it. And now all of a sudden, he is back to even on balls and strikes this season. Back to even. Got screwed. Yasiel Pui. And now he steps out. Because he's annoyed. He knows. He knows that was a ball. It's one and one. And this is, this is where Yasiel Pui, sometimes I think that he just gets into his own head a little bit. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Did that hit him in the toes? Nope. Yasiel Pui is able to jump out of the way of it. But that was not chin music. That was toes music. And it's two and one. Yasiel Pui is just, you know, he, he's got such fast reflexes. He's like, now that is what an athlete looks like. He is an athlete. Rich Hill, he's a dad. He's a, he's a suburban dad who I guess can throw curveballs. Not an athlete. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swung on. That's a chopper and they're going to be foul. And wow, that was the perfect hit for him to hit a home run. He pulled his head out. Yasiel Pui. Oh, and he knows he did that. He's kind of, he looks frustrated with himself walking back. And now we got sad face Pui. And he knows that that was the pitch. He knows he pulled his head out. And oh my goodness, he just loved the pitch too much. He got too excited. And now he's taking a long walk back to first. Let's hope he knows, you know, but let, someone, we got to get Yasiel Pui into meditation. We got to teach him meditation. Yasiel Pui that meditates would be a dangerous Yasiel Pui. And yeah, he's just getting determined. And he, you know, we're back to determined Yasiel Pui. Sad face Pui, Pui is gone. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Pui, you know what? Just, he just, he's just so much fun to watch. Over the plate, swung on. That is hit very hard. Very, very hard. But gonna be an out. Damn it. Why is that happening every time to Yasiel Pui? They look like they're gonna be home runs, but they just don't get over the fence. And we're going to commercial break. Thanks for coming, everybody. And I gotta remember to, to do this towards the ending of the game. Thanks for coming. Is anybody here? How long have I, been, have I been going an hour? I've been going exactly an hour. Thanks for coming. I am going to call this one quits right now. I'm sorry, but it's Saturday afternoon. I got to hang out with the girlfriend and 
yeah i remember to do these i remember to start doing this towards the end of the game and not the not the beginning because i've been going for an hour i'm gonna start doing it at the end of the game thanks for coming you guys are great sorry i'm leaving make sure you subscribe give me two tries thanks pop to you one for the compliment and the subscribe watch my other videos watch the mma video and tell me if it was really that bad mma fans were just up my ass super hard super hard they were mean well they weren't mean they're just they, they just love mma and they don't like somebody like me talking about it but i you know i don't claim to be an expert i just like making videos thanks for coming i'll see you guys next time